6ix9ine got himself a $10 million deal. See what I told you yesterday? I told you yesterday, guys, that 6ix9ine is, Takashi 6 9 is going to be a watershed moment. It's going to change everything that we know about etiquette within the hip hop community or within hip hop artistry, right? The idea that you can't snitch or street politics or um, road rules or whatever it may be, uh, roadman rules or whatever, goon rules. It's going to change everything about that. It's going to make us rethink it because now that hip hop is has gone pop or it's gone mainstream some the rules are going to be a bit different it's not going to be the same as it was prior when it was a bit underground it was a bit more close to home now that it's spread out and it's so thin and it's so worldwide and someone like a Takeshi 6 9 could essentially get himself a big deal and if he wanted to he could make an album of reggaeton based music he could make an album of hip-hop music he could just completely go out and you know move over to Europe and just tour the whole of Europe, you know, for 10 times over and make absolute bank. He could do whatever the fuck he wants in this regard because he's a hip hop star. He can take that kind of star appeal everywhere, sprinkle it somewhere where people don't really care about his case and continue living. Of course, what are the OG kind of like gangster, um, sort of like, you know, um, really well known or really well regarded in street rappers going to stand next to him? Probably not. Does he care? I don't think so. So this story came out recently. Really interesting story um, from TMZ. It says that Takashi 6 9 has got, uh, headline is Takashi 6 9 snitches get millions, scores massive record deal. Um, this is an article from TMZ. It says a record label is banking on Takashi 6 9 getting out of prison sooner rather than later, surviving all the snitching he did because it's investing big bucks and rapper making music again. So it's close to Takashi 6 9 tell TMZ he just cut a record deal worth $10 million. Which I think is more than his initial deal he got when he was when he was out of prison, right? I think that deal was about one or two mil, right, advance or something stupid like that for one album. So he's able to cut a new deal of ten million dollars. Um, it's going to include, I'm sure, some sort of video documentary. It's going to include an amazing, probably one of the. It's, we're probably going to see probably one one of the greatest press marketing runs of all time when he comes out of prison and goes to the breakfast club goes to hot 97 goes to sway in the morning goes to all these places right tells his story and really all kind of sits down with charlamagne does a really long and in that in-depth kind of conversation sits down the academics on live stream um on twitch whatever it's going to be one of the greatest press runs we've seen of all time he's going to throw everyone on the bus he's going to be you know ragging on everyone trolling everyone it's going to be an absolute horror show people there's going to be bodies everywhere right <laughs> so it's supposed to say that he got 10 million dollar deal with his former label 10k project which is that kind of um which was like what's that one is that kind of um under the radar label that not a lot of people know about right is, is it the one that trip red signed to as well isn't it? i'm presuming right anyway um once yeah, see, look, this is the thing I said before. Once it takes to the free mile, sources say that he'll get money in return for putting out two albums, one in English and one in Spanish. Of course, bruv, of course. The, the, all those reggaeton guys are going to go and collaborate with them, and they make bank. We broke the story. Patrick Snipes seems to believe him testifying against his old gang will be forgotten, and once he's released from prison and his tracks will be more popular than ever, which I definitely agree with. I don't think, again, I just think this idea that he's going to suffer greatly because he's decided to snitch on his cover defense is, is really... Um, ignorant or really naive especially nowadays where people hardly care about anything right um, attention spans are very 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 short and in general you know it's something that a lot of people don't really have any understanding of or the or the you know the severity of the situation they just see it as like a you know i don't know they just see it as a thing so the fact that you can come out and do it is going to be amazing again it's going to be just i just I can just see the press run. I can see the press run. I can see the album covers, the photo shoots, all that sort of stuff. None of the, none of, exactly, none of the people that are actually going to put money in his pocket have said anything. Like I said previously, on a podcast. No radio station came out and said they weren't going to play him or interview him. No label said they weren't going to sign him. No personal, no big personalities that kind of cut checks in the industry was, you know, kind of said anything negative about him. People were just silent. The only people saying stuff about him were the rappers and the artists who come from that world, right? Or who have friends that are living that kind of lifestyle, who have friends that are maybe locked up. Um, off the back of somebody else snitching on them so those are the ones that kind of felt personally aggrieved by it which i kind of have sympathy for too because you know it's something that you're witnessing and you're seeing people kind of you know take the piss out of it and joke around a bit like it's a game it's not a game but everyone else huh everyone's just viewing it everyone else is basically viewing it like it's a game so yeah let's let's see what happens man 10 million dollar deal wow amazing amazing turn of events as, as always this guy is even from jail he's fucking you know always in the headlines <laughs> causing an absolute mischief but yeah to catch 69 is due to come out for me in the beginning of, of next year they're saying they brought the case forward so 10 million dollars straight out of prison dripping in gold dripping in diamonds that girl that tatted 69 on her head's probably gonna be waiting for him as well 
So yeah, I mean, she tapped in on the shoulder, didn't she? Yeah, with the rainbow hair. So let's see what happens going 